Hello students, this is a problem 1.4, it is chapter 1 and problem 4, 1.4 and the question is a point moves, a point moves rectilinearly in one direction, a figure shows the distance as traveled by the point as a function of time t using the plot find, first question, the average velocity of the point during the time of motion, during the time of motion it means up to 20 seconds because after 20 seconds the particle will be at rest. 20 second ke baad particle 2 meter ki consistent position jo fix hai so the motion of the particle is only up to 20 seconds according to the diagram so calculate the average velocity of the point during the time of motion the maximum velocity throughout the journey and the time moment t naught at which the instantaneous velocity is equal to the mean velocity averaged over the first t naught seconds averaged over the first t naught seconds instantaneous velocity means velocity at a particular moment and average velocity means uh, total distance by total time taken by the particle. So, pehle is graph pe thoda discuss ki je. This is graph between the displacement. This S shows distance and M is the unit for that. It is meter. And this T and S are time and measured in second. Time in seconds. This is uh, time in seconds. And this is a distance covered by the particle in unit meter. So, this is the graph between distance and time. 0 second is the starting moment and the particle is at origin initially then it moves up to 8 second it travels 0.2 meter up to 10 second it travels 0.4 up to 14 second it travels 1.4 it is 1.4 meter then up to 16 second it travels 1.8 meter finally up to 20 seconds it covers a distance 2 meter so according to diagram we have to decide the three questions, a path graph your understand ki jiye, this is a curve up to 0.4 meter up to 10 seconds. After that it is a straight line and up to 14 seconds it remains by straight, it remains in a straight line. Then it again moves in a curve and this is the top and peak point of the curve, maximum curved part of the curve is this point, after that it becomes a horizontal line parallel to x axis. So on this basis we have to decide the three questions. A point moves rectilinearly in one direction, figure shows the distance traversed by a particle at time t and as a function of time using the plot. First question is to average velocity of the point during the time of motion. Total time average velocity, we know that average velocity is always defined as average velocity this is a part of the problem is total distance or total displacement divided by total time taken total displacement by total time taken by the particle and we have to define the average velocity of the point during the time of motion so we have to that motion is 20 seconds continue hai. Uske particle is in rest mein hai, 2 meter ke distance so the total time of journey is 20 seconds and total distance 2 meter so average velocity will be 2 meter upon 20 seconds it is 0.1 meter per second 0.1 meter per second is the first answer it is average velocity of the particle during the time of motion second part of the problem is to find maximum velocity maximum velocity means the part we have to collect we have to select the part of the curve part of the diagram which is which has maximum slope and we see here that this part is a curve with a little slope but the second part this straight line is the maximum sloped part of the curve here the slope is greatest so we know that if a graph is plotted between distance and time then its slope represents velocity so for getting maximum slope maximum velocity if you want to find the maximum velocity then for solving this problem our aim is to select the part of this graph which has maximum slope and we see here that uh, from this point A to this point B the slope is maximum in this graph uh, in the whole graph this AB part is most straight and it has maximum slope in the whole graph the slope of other curved part is not as much as the slope of this part A and uh, in this part AB the total time taken by the particle is 4 seconds, it is from 10 to 14 seconds and total distance covered by the particle in this time is from 0.4 meter to 1.4 meter. So 1.4, 1.4. So maximum velocity of the particle is 
maximum velocity of the particle will be equal to total displacement it is a, it is starts from 0.4 meter and ends up to 1.4 meter so total displacement is 1.4 minus 0.4 divided by total time taken total time taken is 14 minus 10 14 minus 10 so it is 1 by 4 it means 0.25 meter per second is the maximum velocity of particle so in this complete journey of 20 seconds average velocity is 0 0.1 meter per second but maximum velocity uh, on the basis of this graph will be 1.4 this is the last position of the particle in maximum slope part 1.4 meter and it starts from 0 0.4 meter so distance covered by the particle in this straight part is 1 meter and time taken is 4 seconds so maximum velocity is 0 0.25 meter per second the c part of the problem is the time moment t naught at which the instantaneous velocity is equal to the mean velocity averaged over the first t naught second we know that instantaneous velocity can be obtained by taking a tangent in the graph so for instantaneous velocity uh, we can uh, take a tangent at all the parts of this curve but average velocity the direction of average velocity will always be the direction of uh, the line joining the first point and last point so our question is to find the time moment at which the instantaneous velocity instantaneous velocity can be obtained easily by taking a tangent in the curve but is equal to mean velocity averaged over the first t naught second so for finding mean velocity we have to select a point in the curve where a tangent can also be drawn. So for example, if we take a line in the curve in this manner, then direction of mean velocity will be this. From this point O to this point, any common point, the direction of mean velocity is this, but that of the instantaneous velocity is this. So this cannot be considered as a point. This is not the value of T0. T0 के लिए हमें एक ऐसा पॉइंट सेलेक्ट करना है इस करो में जिस पॉइंट पर इनिशियल पॉइंट से जॉइन करने वाली लाइन और टेंजेंट का डायरेक्शन सेम क्योंकि हम चाहते हैं द टाइम मोमेंट एट व्हिच द इंस्टेंटेनियस वेलोसिटी इज इक्वल टू मीन वेलोसिटी और आप जानते हैं वेलोसिटी इज अ वेक्टर क्वांटिटी सो फॉर मेकिंग देम इक्वल इट इज कंपलसरी टू टेक देयर डायरेक्शंस इक्वल आल्सो सो दिस इज नॉट दैट पॉइंट व्हिच विल बी द आंसर थर्ड पार्ट नाउ consider any other point if this point is b then uh, join the point o to b but this is not the point also because the direction of mean velocity is that and tangent is drawn in this manner again this is not the answer if we draw a line from this point to this point the point which is maximum curve then we see here that if we join o to x if we join o to x then this line and the tangent drawn at the same point will be parallel to each other in the same line. Uh, the direction of mean velocity is the direction of line joining first and last point. And the direction of instantaneous velocity is the direction of tangent drawn in it. So, you can see that the direction of the line ka direction and the x point pe draw ki tangent ka direction is the same. Hai. So, x will be that point which will be the answer of third part that time moment is nothing but the time moment of x position and the time moment of x position is 16 so t naught will be 16 16 second is that time where instantaneous velocity and mean velocity from origin to that point will become equal you see that when o se jab x pe humne tangent ek line join karai o se x tak so the line direction and the x point pe draw ki hue tangent ka direction is the same So that point x is this curve pe, Jis point tak mean velocity and us point ki instantaneous velocity is the same So these are three parts Average velocity is 0.1, maximum is 0.25 And 16 seconds is the time where average and mean, mean and instantaneous are equal